Hey, welcome back to another episode of your GM Mode Competition Series. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Carolina Hurricanes Franchise Mode. It was requested on uh, YouTube. Uh, for those of you on Twitch wondering where the Florida Panthers GM Mode is, don't worry, we're not done that one yet. I guess, spoiler alert, we're not done that one yet. It's going to air on YouTube uh, intermittently with the Carolina Hurricanes series, okay? So we're going to have two series going at the same time on YouTube as well as Twitch, just to kind of keep it fresh. Um, so that's that's what we're going to be doing going forward, I think. Maybe we'll do two teams at the same time. I don't know. Depends how we're feeling. But uh, I felt like doing Carolina today just because, uh, in my honest opinion. That's what I felt like doing today. Um, oh, my God. This team is already set in stone. What the hell? If we had a better fit for ah, uh, like if there's another sniper who's a better fit on that first line, I will put him there. Oh my, yo, yo, this, no way. The game's giving me this. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Tro check 90 face off stall is good. Um, Martinuk will. Oh, I'm gonna go with uh, you. And then Fast is gonna be scratched, I think, because I don't want a sniper down there. Morgan Geeky. I'll put Morgan Geeky in for now. There you go. Look at this team. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Maybe we can upgrade Morgan Geeky later. Jake Bean. Doesn't fit the team. Joachim Ryan does really well. Jesper Foss is not going to be playing. Defense. Jacob Slavin does not fit. Dougie Hamilton does not fit. Brady Shea does not fit. Brett Pesci does. Jake Gardner does. And Hackenpaw does. Um, is there any way to upgrade this defense a little bit? Not really, sadly. Uh, Jake Gardner is tradable, so probably gonna take him off. Put hack, put him in, and put Jake Bean in probably. I'm then. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it looks. That looks good to me so far. Brady Shea, can you get any better? Neither you can. Maybe this defense can be upgraded based on how they played in real life, but for now we're going to leave it as is. Uh, that looks pretty good. Peter Morazic's good. Nate Elkovich is fine the way he is. Jesper Fast. I think you're out of Jake Gardner. Hackenpaw, Yanni Hackenpaw, he's out of here. And Fast as well. In the AHL, can anybody be called up? Not really. Korshkov is a beautiful fit in this AHL team. Lorenz as well. Kirby Reichel as well. Dominic Bach is a good prospect. There we go. Oh, please. Thank you. Oh. I think I have to. Dominic Bach can play there. Smallman can play there. Drew Shore, sure. McCormick. Jack Drury, he's on, he's on this team usually. Stelios Mateos needs to be up a line. Gust. Is really not good. No offense. Killinen is young, so he can get a chance probably. Rees. Oh, he's playing. Jamison Rees. Sick name, by the way. I love this guy's name. He's playing for sure. Uh, second line. Yeah. Uh, high bottom six is kind of intriguing to me. Hmm. The small guy's probably not going to make it anyway. So we can do that. If there's any way to upgrade that second line, I will. But I'm thinking I do that for now. I'm going to put Suzuki. No, I want Suzuki to grow. So yeah, that looks fine. Defense. Roland McEwen can play up there with Lajoie. Where Sofsky can play with... Wow. Really? These guys aren't a plus? Huh. Fitzgerald. It's not really that good. Keen can play. Selgren's not good. You're not good. Alright, that's fine. That's a fine defensive core. Goalies. James Reimers are... Oh, man.
man. And then Antoine Bebo as the backup. Do we have any prospects? We don't, except for you, Mac and Yemi. But I want this team to win, so I'm, I'm going to leave Reimer. Honestly, I'm going to keep Reimer. Mm, that's really expensive, though. I'm going to trade James Reimer, I think. Or whoever between Reimer and Morazic does not want as much money, I think is going to be my decision. So I go all expiring goalies. Reimer and Nedeljkovic. Oh, no. I mean, Reimer and Morazic. So Morazic wants 4 mil by 5 years. Reimer wants no money. I'm keeping Reimer. Peter Morazic's gone. And I'm going to sign someone better than Bebo. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So let me go to free agency here. Let me sign a, let me sign a goalie real quick. Highest overall with potential. Oh, that dropped off fast, so never mind. I'll sign uh, Alex Stalock to a to a nice 800k deal. Any uh, any forwards now who have good? Really? Why aren't you guys on your teams? This doesn't make any sense. Montreal dropped Ikenin. Schlappik dropped from Ottawa. I need to write these guys down so I can fix this later. So Schlappik on Ottawa. Because I can't just pick these guys up. That's not fair. Ikenin on Montreal. And Hollander on Toronto. Why? Why? Game, why? Jeremy Roy, maybe I can pick up Jeremy Roy for the AHL squad. Uh, Daniel Odette. Mm, don't really need him. Rourke Chartier could be good though. I'll bring in Rourke Chartier. And uh, it's tempting to bring these guys in too, but I'm not gonna bother. All right, and then we'll trade. Uh, we'll trade Morazic away. I think that's the best bet. I think that's our best bet right now. Goalies, Peter Morazic. Out of here. Out of here. That's it. I don't want the Brett Collin contract. That's brutal. What a brutal contract they're offering me for that. Uh, so goalies. What if I trade away... What if I trade away Mac and Yemi? Seventh? Deal. What about this guy, Warm? What about Bebo? Well, good to know. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want I don't want to trade Morazic away for that. That's a brutal trade. So let's see if these guys say yes. I don't want to trade right now. Uh, so Reimer said yes, Stalock said yes, Roy said yes, Chartier said yes. So perfect. That's that's exactly what we want. Uh, scratch, yeah, Hagenpaw, Fast, and Gardner, that's fine. AHL, uh, Stelios Mateos is a good prospect. Prospect, uh, you're you're pretty bad. I'm going to take you out for uh, Rourke Chartier. And where do you fit? Anywhere. Huh. There we go. There we go, look at that. Prospect pool's uh, looking fresh, boys. Man, Jack Drew is a good prospect. Why would I always give him up in this game? And then uh, Jamie Hua fits the first pairing, but McEwen already fits with Hickey. Um, Jamie Hua down here. Let's do that. Perfect. That's fine. Goalies down here. That's fine. Uh, it's, I think Stalock should be down here as well. So let's put Stalock as the backup for now. So Reimer and Stalock. Perfect. Uh, NHL squad's ready to go. I just have to edit the power play and stuff. So Sveshikov, Aho, Teravainen. Trocek's not going to be there. We're going to put uh, Martin Nikash. There you go. Beautiful plus five. Now, Nino, Nino need a rider on there for sure. Jacob Slavin, why not? Uh, Jake Bean has to be on there, actually, as well. 
Vinny Trotrick's a very good player, but I want someone who gets a plus. I guess no one else gets a plus, eh? Fogel? I guess that's pretty good. Four-man power play. Teravainen, Aho, uh, Svechnikov needs to be up there. And then Nikash, Trocek, Slavin, and Nina Ryder. That's fine. Penalty kill. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Shea doesn't fit. Martinuk doesn't fit. Pesci's already there. Ryan's already there. Slavin's already there. So that means we're missing Bean or Hamilton. So yeah, I got a plus five up here. Add another two plus three. So we'll do that. That looks pretty good. Um, Brock McGinn, sure. Martinuk, Trocek. Let's give Trocek up there. And then instead of Martinuk, can we get uh, Morgan Geeky in here? Okay, what about Cedric Paquette? Okay, what about... Uh, I tried you guys. Trocek's already on there. Stahl's already on there. What about like Nikash or someone? Is he a plus? That's fine. I like the plus three better with him. Trocek and Stahl. Shea, Slavin, Ryan Pesci. Perfect. And then uh, Scratch. It's fine. So Hackenpaw, Fast, and Gardner. They're all gone. That's easy. Easy money. This team should be flying. This team should be flying this year. If, I don't make, if we don't make the playoffs, I'll be in shock. So uh, let's make a deal. Let's go to Hackenpaw. Okay, I didn't think so. What about uh, what about fast? Yes, but fast. Three-year deal with two million dollars per year. That's a big, big money contract to get rid of. Fifth and a sixth from Winnipeg. Sure. Thanks, Winnipeg. And then uh, Jake Gardner, Jake the Snake, Jake Gardner. Third, third and a seventh from Buffalo. Third and a fifth from Colorado. Third and a fourth. So far is the highest. Charlie Hudon and a third from Montreal. Interesting. Two fourths. Um, third and fourth from Ottawa. I don't want to treat him in the east, though. If I'm being honest. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take Winnipeg as well. <laughs> I'm gonna take Winnipeg's deals. Um, there you go. And did it change for Reimer? Did the market change for James Reimer? Fourth and a sixth from Buffalo, third and a seventh from Calgary. Thank you, Calgary, for making that easy for me, boys. Sweet. Oh, wait, it was Mraz. I'm stupid. Well, oh well. Can't always be smart. <laughs> so, goalies. Uh, let's put Bebo in there. We can keep Mrazic for a year. Why not? There we go. I like that. I like that. All right, let's sim a little bit. Let's sim a little bit and see how our team does. And... Uh, if we need to change anything, right? So let's go. Let's hop into the simulation. I was asked to do a team that's a bit more stacked instead of doing a bunch of rebuilding teams. So, uh, I mean, I know I did Buffalo. I mean, sorry, I've already done Boston. I've already done Toronto. And I've already done... Uh, what other teams have I done? Boston, Toronto, Anaheim, San Jose. I guess I, 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 guess I have done quite a few rebuilding teams. Because uh, I did Buffalo as well. Um, you know, I'm doing Florida right now, but um, uh, Carolina as well is going to be fun, I think. It's a hot start. We got gifted a really good coach right off the bat, honestly. We really did. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know what his rating is, but based on how he fits in the team, it's pretty good. And, I mean, look, if you look at it real life, it makes sense that we have a good coach in this game because uh, Rod is a – Rod Brindamore is a very good coach. <laughs> He gets a lot of he gets a lot of work ethic out of his players, you know. They always they they all buy into his work ethic. So, it, so I guess it makes sense. So we'll see how we do in the simulation. But so far we're doing pretty good. That's three losses in a row. That's pretty disappointing. But we bounce back with uh, two nice wins, and then two losses in a row again. Then we win. Then we lose. Then we win. Then we win. There we go. A couple wins in a row there. Tough loss, but it's okay. Another tough loss. Um, but 30, 15, and one from when I last checked is pretty good. Uh, 33, 15, and 2. I'm going to stop it here. Because uh, if we're going to make any moves, I want to make them now before it's too late. So looking at our divisions, we're first. We'd be first in the Atlantic. We're second in the Metro by a landslide. We, we're, we're third in the league right now. 
We're third in the league. That's pretty good. The Capitals are simming really well. Uh, so our first line, how are they doing? They're barely even right now. Second line's killing it. Third line's doing okay. Fourth line's, eh. Defense, good, good, bad. So Jake Bean is getting better. Maybe I can move him up a line. Uh, I don't want to break up these two guys. They're playing so well together. Um, goalies, Nedeljkovic is awful. Mrazic's playing really well. <laughs> uh, scratch, Hack and Paw obviously is not going to be in. AHL, how are they doing? Minus, minus. Oh my god, it's awful. Uh, let's, let's just make some easy moves here. Maybe we can get the team simming better. Defense. It's just not. They're just not having it, boys. Alright, plus three on the top pair. Alex Stalock is playing well. Bebo is not. We'll see if the AHL squad can turn it around. Where are they at in the standings in the AHL? Dead last. We'll we'll see what they can do, but man, that's awful. Um, let's look around the league. Let's see if there's any good trades we can make. I do want to make a trade or two before the episode ends. Uh, before we call it an episode. So looking around. Nothing really available in Anaheim. Ekman Larson's available. Uh, doesn't fit our team, though. Uh, back in our name, we don't really want. He's too young. John the Taves. We got him another series. Not really good fit. <laughs> not really good fit for us. Uh, no one there. No one there. No one there. Nope. Uh, no. 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 No one really. Jeez. Jeez, man, what the hell? Is there anybody available? Logan Couture. Four line four. No, thank you. Let Timothy Lilligren. Wow, that's it? Nothing. Alright, let's go up to the deadline then. We'll see if there's something better. Well, I guess I can look in free agency too. See if there's any good players, but I doubt it. Um, Mikhail Bodker is the best free agent available right now. Mirko Mueller's also one of them. Bo Bennett. Yori Latera. Like, oh, jeez. Brutal free agency there, but... Uh, I do want to make a trade to make this team better. So we'll, we'll move up close to the deadline. See if more people are available by then. We lost three, four in a row. Four losses in a row. That's brutal. Um, hopefully we can turn that around. <laughs> you hate it. Oh, you hate. Oh, my God. What the hell? EA Sports, bro. Make up your mind. Are we good? Or, are we good or not? Holy shit. This game's ridiculous with their losing streaks, man. They just give you them sometimes. They're like, here, you're going to lose a bunch of games now. For no reason. You're just like bad now. Uh, defense. Oh my god. Jake Bean, bro. You cannot play on this team. I'm sorry, but Jake Bean does not. He's just not it. He just ain't it, boys. Sorry, I'm just testing. Testing the waters to see if I can get a plus five. Some other way, but I don't think we can. Brock McGinn, two it forward. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, all right, let's look. I guess we can look around the league again, see if there's any more uh, more players in the block. But it wasn't promising last time. I don't know what would be promising this time. Who's that? Balamaki doesn't fit anything. Taves already knew. I'm going to go as fast as I can through these. We're already at Florida. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. At home. Top four pairings. Ryan Ellis, top four pairings as well. Ooh, Matthias Ekholm's on a really good contract as well. Instead of Jake Bean, we can give them Jake Bean. And then Ryan Ellis is pretty expensive. He would be upgrading anybody anyway. So we'll take Ekholm. We can take Ekholm from you guys. Any forwards? I wouldn't mind upgrading the forward core. Mikhail Granlund, four line one. Yeah. Eric Halla, four line two. Yeah. Let's go by overall here. 83 overall, Matt Duchesne, four line one. No, thank you. Uh, Philip Forsberg, power forward. Doesn't fit our team. 
Ryan Johansson, 4 line one Oh my god. How long is Duchesne's con? Oh, Jesus. Uh, and let's look at Duchesne, Duchesne's stats. He's He sells really good skating and puck skills. He just... His defense sucks. Uh, Luke Kunin. Man, they don't really have the forward depth you'd want to add. Maybe Mikhail Granlin could be a good add. Mikhail Granlin and Eric Hall as depth. We'll give them... Uh, We'll give them Jake Bean. We'll give them uh, Morgan Geeky. Uh, we can give them. We give them a draft pick, like a our second next year. And uh, oof, they want some really good players. Uh, we can give them uh, Noel Gunler. No, he's pretty good, eh? What about Nybeck? We can give up Nybeck. I think that's pretty fair. Doesn't really meet their, their needs, eh? Okay, a bit lower than Nybeck. We can add another player. Honka. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a big move. That's a big move. Pre-deadline move. Um, send on Hackenpaw. That's fine. If someone wants to claim Hackenpaw, they can have him. Edit lines. Uh, so let's, let's throw in Mikhail Granlund for now. Uh, where do you fit? For first line. Brock McGill on the fourth line. So we have 17 skaters dressed. Oh yeah. And then Matthias Ekholm. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's much better than before. Um, scratched Eric Halla, obviously still scratched. Fits four line two really, really well. Nikash already does that for us. I'm just curious. Does Eric Halla get that plus five? He does not. So Warren Fogel can go there. Uh, Paquette doesn't really fit the PK anyway. So I'm going to put Eric Halla here. I don't mind Eric Halla down there. Okay, defense. That's good. Scratched. Paquette for now. Uh, special teams, yeah, 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 that's fine. Need a rider, Trocheck. Now instead, we can keep Slavin on here. But now we can make a change here. So now we can add Mikhail Granlund. And we can add Eric Halla. And now all we're missing is a right-handed defenseman. So obviously Pesci's not going to be a good fit. We already know that. But if we can just upgrade our defense one more time, we could potentially have another plus five on the power play. That's clutch. Um, so there you go. Four-man power play there. I'm okay with that. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Penalty kill. So you have Trocek, McGinn, Slavin, Shea, Ryan, Pesci. Now instead of Shea, we can throw an Ekholm, who fits. Thank goodness. So let's put Pesci up there. Let's put Nick. Is up there. Yeah, that's good. I like that a lot. Uh, three man PK, Trocek, Slave, and Shea. Let's put Ekholm instead. There you go. Okay. And then uh, goalies, Mrazek, Nadelkovic. That's fine. Paquette. There you go. That's. Ooh, this team's already better. We still have tons of cap space to spend. Uh, let's look at the, let's look at people's train blocks. Any other big names available? Nope. San Jose. Ooh, Logan Couture is still available. Four line four. I don't know if I want him. <laughs> Not for this year. St. Louis. Anybody? Is there anybody available for us here? Timothy Lilligren, I already know is not going to be a good fit for us for now. Uh, Niels Hoglander. Tyler Myers. Not really ideal. Nope. Nope. Come on. No one. Jeez. All right. Well, we'll go into the deadline then. That's fine. We can go into the deadline. I don't usually do the deadline, so we'll we'll try it. We'll try the deadline today. We'll see how it goes. We'll see who's available. So let's do uh, available. So Tory Krug. Oh, Tory Krug could be good. Ekman Larson, Justin Falk, JVR, Ryan Ellis, Robin Leonard. Linus Allmark, Ilya Sorokin's available. 
Oof. That could be a huge upgrade in Nets. Okay, okay, okay. Tory Krug. We already have Dougie Hamilton. He fits the third pairing. This would be a pure rental move. We'd trade him in the offseason type of deal. So Ryan's already on the PK. So we kind of need him. We can throw in Hackenpaw as a contract. It would have to be Brady Shea. Right? Because we have Pesci, Slavin, Eckholm, and, and Ryan on the PK. It would have to be Brady Shea. If they could retain a little bit of salary on it. That works too. And then we go skaters matching block. We can throw in Puistola. We can throw in uh, a draft pick here. Maybe our first. I think it's definitely close. First and a third. Maybe I take off some of that retained salary. A bit more of that retained salary. A little bit more of that retained salary. If they can turn even... They retain even any salary, it's worth it for us. Like even if even when it's like next to nothing. Oh, they still said no. Okay. Uh shoot. This is tough. What about a first and a second? And now they retain salary. We need them to retain some salary to make it more worthwhile for us. Uh two hundred and seventy five K. Come on. I don't think this is going to happen. Let's take Hackenpaw out of the deal. Let's throw in a third from this year and a third from next year. And now they should retain salary and it should be fine. Really? Really? They're being quite stingy. Uh, a second and a third can make it go through. And like I said, this is mainly as a rental, right? Tory Krug's not going to be here long term. Unless he's a really good fit for whatever reason, he's not going to be here long term. Like, he's just not in the cards. Um, holy smokes. Uh, bro. Arizona just ruined... Arizona just ruined everything. Um... Okay, so we already looked at that. It wasn't really going through. We can try again. <laughs> we can try again. What's? I guess there's no risk. Um, okay, what pick's worth more? This pick or this pick? They're worth about the same. It seems like next year's worth a bit more. So let's go next year's. Let's go first, a second. Can you stop? <laughs> Please, stop it. Uh, come on. Tory Krug, I want the big fish here, boys. I want them to retain at least some salary for us. All right, and then we go, uh, we go first. We go first, a third, a second, and a third. I feel like it's definitely close. Okay, what? Bro, I swear, I'm gonna lose my mind. I hate how that's I hate how that's a thing in the menus right now. It's making me want to make a bad trade on purpose, um, just to get it to go through. So let's see if they retain a million. I'll give them two firsts. I'll give them two firsts and two thirds if they retain a million dollars. What if they retain 800k? Stop it! Stop it! Uh, please. Please, I'm just trying to make a trade. All right, retain 800K or like 600K. I'll give you two firsts, a second and a third. It's a lot of picks for Tory Krug. Retain a million. Okay, retain 800. Retain, retain 500. Retain anything. nothing 
Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna give them two firsts. I'm giving them Pustola. I'm giving them a third. Like, how much more can I? How much more can I offer you, bro? Like, come on. Okay, just a touch. There we go. Okay, so I'll throw in a third. You're retaining a little bit of salary for me, okay? Come on. Come on. It's not that much money. It's not that much money. Oh, are you serious? Are you going to be stingy like that? Bro, I hate you. <laughs> I hate St. Louis. All right, now I'm going to get rid of Brady Shea. Because I do want that. Then again, I'm going to keep Brady Shea. I want this decor to be the most stacked decor. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a strong defensive core. All right, forwards is already really good. So let's see if there's any good forwards available that I can get on retained salary or something. An upgrade in nets would be nice, not going to lie. Uh, 29, 27. He's only 27. Um, I wouldn't mind getting Allmark. I'll take on Allmark. I'll give you guys Mrazic. Ah, oh, screw that, bro. I'm breaking the game. Um, <laughs> Bernier. No, those guys are way too much money. Jack Campbell is cheap as hell. Bobrovsky is no thank you. Kevin Hayes, nope. I mean, wait. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Top six forward lines, interesting. I wanted to look at Nolan Patrick. None. Any other power forwards on this team? Is he the only one? Isaac Radcliffe. We don't know where we'd fit. Same with Allison. Do we know where Allison was? <sighs> Ooh, Allison could be interesting. Kevin Hayes, top six four lines. Justin Braun. I mean, Kevin Hayes has a... Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. The Islanders are definitely going to... Whoops. The Flyers definitely going to have to retain salary. I'm not crazy. Don't worry. Um, but if we can make it work as, an, as a... Wait, why? Why is my salary so low? I don't know what's going on. I'll give them pa Paquette. I'll give them two-thirds. It'll be over the league maximum salary cap, even though it's not showing that. They're not willing to retain any salary, eh? What about three thirds? Damn it. Damn it. Uh what about Hack and Paw? Where's Hack and Paw? Let's get this guy off the off the team. There you go, Hack and Paw. Damn it. This really isn't going to work, is it? Damn it. Ah. Okay, what if I put Brady Shea going the other way? How much does he make and how good is he? He sucks. All right, who's good? Who's good? Who's good? Philippe Myers. It's a good fit for the team. It's a really good fit for the team. Perfect. They don't have to retain very much on them. I'll throw in. Uh, I'll throw in our Paquette guy. Throw in Cedric Paquette. I'll throw in some of those draft picks. Two thirds. Come on, don't do this to me. I'll throw in a third. I don't even need a third. Okay, what if I throw in that fourth and a fifth? Let's go, baby. Okay. This is the team. This is the team. As long as EA Sports lets me do my moves and lets me uh, 
Justin Falk got traded too. As long as EA Sports lets me plan my roster the way I want it, we're good to go. All right, so Aho, Svechkov, Teravine, and that's all. That's all dandy. That's all fine. Nietzsche, I want. Uh, I want Kevin Hayes there. Who's got good faceoffs? Kevin Hayes really does. This is what's going to happen. Kevin Hayes at center. Then Vinny Trocek with Jordan Stahl and Marcus Granlund. And then Warren Fogle with Brock McGinn and Eric Halla. Ooh, Warren Fogle is actually probably good to have up there to grow him. To grow him. Yeah, because going forward, he's going to be really good to have. Then again, I don't want him to get too good too fast, right? So let's send him down here. Okay, Fogel, Granlin, Trocek. There we go. Howla, Stahl, McGinn. Okay, defense, Hamilton, Krug. Nope. Ekholm, Pesci. Oh my god, Tory Krug staying long term. I don't even care. I don't even care. Tory Krug staying long term. Um, Felipe Myers, Jacob Slavin. Oh my god, dude. How do I not? Look at this team, bro. Look at this. Wait a minute. And then Jordan Martinuk and... Yep. Okay. Special teams now. Sveshkov, Nietzsche, Teravainen, Krug, Aho. No, I'm going to leave Hamilton up there. All right, we need Nietzsche on that side. There we go. Al can take face-offs, right? Yeah, beautiful. All right, now we have Krug. We have Nita Ryder. We have Granlund. We have Hayes. Who's the best at face-offs? None of you. And we have Eric Halla. Wait, how do we not have a plus? What about, uh, what about, what about Fogel? What about Fogs? Please, buddy. No way. What about uh... <laughs> oh, Kevin Hayes? Come on, Kevin Hayes. Give me a plus five on one of these lines. No way. No way. All right. Um... That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. All right, and then four-man power play, Teravine and Nietzsche. No, Aho. Svechnikov, Hamilton, Niederreiter, Nietzsche. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, Granlund. Yeah, there we go. All right, then penalty kill. Stahl, Trocek, Pesci, Ekholm. Slavin, Myers, McGinn, Howla. Mm. Sweet. That works perfectly. All right, three-man PK, Trocek, Stahl, Echo and Pesci, Slavin, Myers. That's beautiful. Scratch, it's fine. Goalies, it's fine. Boys, this team is ready for a cup run. This team is ready for a cup run. We're 2-7-1 in our last 10, but boys... Do I know what the overalls of the team are? Because I do. Let's find out. What are what are our team overalls? Play a game. Let's see. What are our team overalls like specifically? 96, 91, 84. I thought we'd be better than that. Hmm. Hmm. Whoops. Oh well. We you know we definitely upgraded the team though, significantly. Six nothing win. Seven three win. That's okay, we lose sometimes. We lose sometimes. That's okay, it happens. Big win. Okay, we're losing. We're still losing a lot of games compared to how we were before. Still, lo still losing. Still, lo what the hell? Okay, we're barely in a wild card. Stop the sim. Stop the sim. We barely clinched. We clinched, but we barely clinched. Bro, what the hell? We went from second in our division to barely clinching the playoffs. What? What? 
Really? They're that bad? They were really good. They were terrible. How did you do with us? You were fine. Defense. How did you do with us? A minus four. They were bad. Goalies. He dropped off a cliff in terms of talent. Because reasons. What? Oh. Get out of town, brother. There is no reason. There is no justification for why our team is simming so poorly. There is literally no reason. Um, okay, then. Uh, let's see what the contracts are. So we have Dougie Hamilton expiring. Does He wants to extend. He wants a seven-year deal. I can give him six years to take him up to 33. I'll give him six years. It doesn't make a difference in terms of money, so I'll give him seven. And I'll give him uh, so 8.975 times 0.85. That's going to give him 7.6, 7.7 million dollars. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Whoops. That gives us about... Uh, uh, not much money. Andre Svechnikov, how much do you want? All right, that's fine. 8.7 times 0.85, 7.4. Let's just see if they say yes to those. I don't know if they're both going to be able to say yes because of the money, but we'll see. All right. Well, I'll do the quick. Uh, I'll do the season wrap up, and then we're going to call it an episode there. I think. So, nah, screw it. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the playoffs in this episode. We're gonna do a big episode here. So Washington, um, so in the league, goals for per game, we were terrible. Uh, goals against per game, we were decent. Power play percentage, we were decent. PK percentage, we were terrible. And that explains our records. So, honestly, we started off really, really, really strong. And then we kind of just stopped, if that makes sense. Um, all right, compared to the rest of the league, how did we do? So, I go to entire league. Kirill Kaprizov had 121 points. Oved, that's excessive. Uh, okay. Ovechkin, 113 with 67 goals. Scoring is up. A lot. Wow. Matthews had 56 goals. Okay. Um, McDavid only had 90 points. Bro, I don't know how much better I can make the guy. Literally, look at his puck skills. It's 99 everything. He has 99 offensive awareness. Why does he only get 90? It doesn't make sense, guys. This I've given up on expecting this game to make any sense. All right. Let's go into this series against Washington. Let's see how we do. Uh, we'll go games one and two on the road. Come on, boys. Quick time simulation. Yeah, I didn't think we would have enough cap space, Dougie. We lose both games. We lose both games. Line changes are happening. I don't even care. Um, you guys were okay. You guys were terrible. Yeah, that's happening. That's happening. These are the new lines. Uh, Jesus. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see how we fare on this game. There you go. A big win. That's a big win. Okay. Game four. That's another win. Game five. Come on, boys. Keep up the momentum. Okay. Game six. Come on. Let's go! Yo, the line changes, boys. The line changes. You can't tell me the line changes didn't make a difference. That was huge. All right, let's just keep the momentum going, boys. That's four in a row. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We split it on, on the road. Now we have home ice. There we go. Big win. Come on, on home ice, boys. Come on. Big win. Put it away. Put it away on the road. That's good. We bounce back. On home ice, boys. Come on. Let's go. All right, we got Toronto now. We have Toronto now. On the road again. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's... Mmm. Mmm. They were, they were one goal games. 
They are one goal games. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust the team to win that next game. I'm gonna trust the team to win that next one home ice. God damn it, we lost three one goal games. We lost three one goal games. Okay, who's not working? First line's playing good. Second line, oh jeez, bro, you got, they can't stop anything. Um, they but they don't get the chemistry down there. Okay. Okay, what if we put Trocek up there? And Granland, and then that could work. Then defense. They're playing okay, they're playing well, they're playing terrible, so switch these guys up, and then goalies. Nadelkovic has been lights out in elimination games. This is do or die now. Every game matters. Every game matters. We're against the powerhouse in Toronto that are somehow really... Jordan Stahl, big goal. But then Zach Hyman gets him on the board. Come on, boys. Second period. Jason Spets a score, but then Mikhail Granlin gets it back. Oh, come on, boys. Not like this. You can't let them end it like this. we got to win a game for the fans. For yourselves. Have some pride, boys. Have some pride. Have some faith in each other. We need a big, big win. Another power play for Toronto. That's just yeah. EA Sports, EA Sports just get okay, whatever. EA Sports just gave them the win, bro. How many power plays is that back? Okay, there you go. Three, three. Okay, okay. Three, three. Come on, boys. Oh my God, got Chang scores. Come on. <laughs> Andre Svechkov gave me hope when I didn't have any, but. Uh, we're being outshot 36-24. Hard to blame Nadelkovich for that. Oh, boys. We just got swept. We didn't get swept. Marni just with 18 seconds to go. Okay. Okay. We're still alive. Oh, my God, bro. Imagine having 96 offense and barely scoring goals. I don't know what else to do to make this team better. I, th I thought we had a pretty good team. I, I really did. Um, I'm definitely training Kevin Hayes in the off season. Who'll be the hero? Will there be a zero? But we'll see. Come on, boys. We need a big win here. This is gonna be a long episode. Oh, there we go. Oh no. <gasps> big save by Nedeljkovic. Big play by Aho. There we go. Nice job, Ter. I almost said good job, Terabinen. Bro, are you even playing? Kruger, are you even playing defense? Okay, good job, Pesci. Pesci, get it out. It's like watching someone beat him, like punch a brick wall. Bro, what are we doing? Jesus. These computers are awful. Boys, this is embarrassing. Didn't give him anything. Good job. But this is embarrassing. Bro, we can't get the puck out. There you go. Thank you, Niederreiter. Get the puck in deep, though. Good job. Oh, big save. Okay, we need stall. We need Jordan stall. We need a big face off. This is interesting. I, I don't I didn't think we were that bad in comparison to Toronto. I mean every game, no matter how this ends, has been a one goal game. So take that as however you want it. One bounce. One shot that takes a slightly different angle. And it's a completely different series. Right? That's how I'm gonna choose to look at it. And we made it this far for a reason. I built this team for the. I built this team to be good, but we couldn't really get it done in the regular season. But then, come playoff time, we were as good as anybody. Okay, work it, work it. There you go. Work it. Okay, bro, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Good, good change. Good change in. Yeah. Oh. Barely saved that one. 
We got some good we got some good line changes going. There you go, Pesci. Okay, boys, please. Thank you. Slavin, there you go. Work it, work it. Yes. Oh, he's done. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. These guys are hard to watch play. This is brutal. Yo, where's the four check? He just abandoned the... Oh, my God. Who was that? Who is that? Number five. Is that Slavin? Why is he up there? All right, Nita Riders. Nita Riders going for a stroll, boys. All right, Nietzsche. Bro, skate! Yo, Nietzsche's controller turned off. Big hit. Okay, move it up, move it up. There we go. Nice line change, too. Kevin Hayes. Playoff performer, Kevin Hayes. Please. He couldn't lift the puck. You tell me you can elevate that? Okay, good job back home. Good job back home. Okay, need a rider. Carry it in. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Dougie. Good job, Dougie. Good job, Dougie. Good job, boys. Work it, work it. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. My God, Zach Hyman's all over us right now. There we go. Go, 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 go. Smart shot. Get the line change. Can't change the defense yet. I, I wasn't paying attention. If I'm being honest. No way. <gasps> Big save. Big save. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Move it. Move it. No, Svechnikov, that's... Okay, good job, good job. He forced Tavares to slow it down. Big hit. Yeah. Come on, Pesci, move it. Oh, go, go, go. Easy. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Alright, go, go, go. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Come on, boys. Good job, Aho. Oh, my God. Okay, Kruge got flattened. Okay, we have one guy back. It's Pesci, I think. Pesci just skated himself into the corner for no reason. Thank God for Granlund. To get the defense change. Jordan Stahl might have just lost us the game. Oh my god. Bro, you know we need to change, and you do that. Oh, big save. Big block. This is scary. I kind of want to intervene at this point. It's been such a long game. It's been such a long game, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a long episode. Uh, all right, come on, Slavin. Work it, work it, work it. Work it. What the hell am I watching? Good job, Eric Holla. Work it back, 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 back. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, it's line two. Line two everywhere. Martin Nietzsche, please. Please. Oh, I should have put Trocek center. Yep. Good play, good play. Good job, boys. Work it, work it. What the hell was that? Okay, Ekholm's back. It's fine. Good job. Cover it. <gasps> okay, okay. Give me a heart attack. Oh, please. What the hell was that? Skate next time. Jesus. These guys are brutal. Oh my god, they didn't change? This is our chance. Put it away. Jordan Stahl, you have to win this draw. What the hell? Why, why do I have you on the team? Bro, you're 90 face-offs. Why do I have you on the team? You're not going to win draws. <gasps> Please! Oh my god. What a save, bro. Okay, get back, get back. Good job. Alright, good job, good job. Work it, work it. Get it up, get it up. Move it. Okay, I guess just skate. You're actually skating for once. Okay. 
What a save, bro. No, I want I want line one out there. I don't even care how tied they are. God, Chenick and Thornton are line four? Okay, the Leafs are pretty good, I guess, this year, eh? What the hell? Good face off. Oh. Uh-huh. That's fine. This is fine. Uh, if Ahal can win the draw here, because Gachanek's notoriously bad at face-offs, and he wins it. <laughs> and he wins it, as I say that. Big hit, big stand-up play. Like How just... Bro, they almost won off that. Bro, what are you doing? Okay, there you go. Pass it. Nice, nice. No, no, no. Okay, line four. Okay, Kevin Hayes, Eric Holler, Brock McGinn. You can't tell me we have a we have a bad team. Like, I don't know why our, our ratings are so low though. Big hit or nothing? Nothing. He's gonna do nothing. Good play by the defense. Howl is faster than him. He doesn't skate and he misses the net by a mile. Then Ekholm just decides to forget how to play hockey. He continues to forget how to play hockey. Doug Hamilton just cannot win a puck battle. And he does somehow. Okay, then Eric Halla goes again to Kevin Hayes, who can't skate. Brock McGinn gets in. Okay. Brock McGinn, okay, is now my hero. Dougie Hamilton, okay, come on. Come on. Big play by Dougie. Work it, work it. Get it up. Good job, Ekholm. Nietzsche cannot get by his man. Good play. Oh, Nietzsche, please. Please, skate, skate. <gasps> what a save. Oh my god, he did the splits. No. No. <gasps> Please, Nita Riders skates through Hall for some reason. Or tries to skate through Hall. Okay, that's your puck. I don't know who that is, but that's your puck. Nietzsche, skate. Trocek's puck's got to go in deep, buddy. Okay, thank God we didn't fully change everybody. Brett Pesci's back. Good play. Good play by Pesci. No way. What is going on? Okay, get on him. Get on him, Stall. Good job, Stall. Oh, my God. Good play. At home. This is a good defensive game so far. Um, Trocek. There we go. That's huge. All right. Call me crazy. I'm going for, I'm going for a, quick, uh, a quick timeout. I don't know how to do it in in game. Line one, line one, boys. This is it. This is our chance against Tavares and Mikheyev. Come on, Al. I didn't expect to win the draw, but it was worth a try. That's okay. That's okay. Get back. It's gonna be a long power play. Okay, Nietzsche, up to Aho. Slow down. Slow down. You don't need to force that. And you force that. And they clear it. Way to force it, boys. That's fine. Tervinen turns it over. Nietzsche slows it down. Smart. Get a good break in. There you go. And you keep it. Shoot. You shoot at his pad for some reason. Good keep in. Okay, Al. Hold him. Tie him up. There you go. Nietzsche gets it. Work it. Snipe. Oh my god, what a save. I mean, it's a bad shot, but nice save. Alright, let's change it up. Leave the defense on, though. Leave Teravine and Hamilton. They can put. Big save by Teravine and saved the game. I don't know what Dougie Hamilton was trying to do there. Alright, Kevin Hayes cannot skate. But he, he, can, he can hit. He can hit. Alright, Dougie. Just skate. <gasps> Are you serious? Who is this? Freddie Anderson, bro? Man, I've only played that in real life. Jesus. All right. Good job, Halla. Of course, it's offside. Because why wouldn't it be offside? All right, Aho. Now you're against Spets on Hyman for 30 seconds? Come on. Take advantage, please. You can't win a draw for your life. Good play by Granlin. Slows it down. And we skate it all the way back and get pinned for no reason. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry. We'll give them some time in the offense.
There you go, there you go. Nietzsche's, please. Please. Oh my god, he missed the net. Hold it. I would hold it here if I was actually playing, but I can't. Shoot. <gasps> oh my god, bro. We've had so many chances. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Svechnikov. Work it. What the hell am I watching? What the hell am I watching? Let's get it back. They're back. Good job, Nietzsche. No. Alright, he goes offside. Alright, let's get line three and line two out there. Jordan Stall's gonna win the draw for us. Jordan Stall's gonna win the draw for us against a tired Matthews, right? Because uh, Matthews is tired. Thank you. Oh my god. Dougie, please. Dougie. This game sucks. The frick was that? Yo, is, is Matthias Ekholm lost? I'm, I'm not watching the handshake. That's stupid. <sighs> Get swept in the third round bro, by the Toronto Maple Leafs. <sighs> I should have kept Jake Gardner and James Reimer. Look at this stupid EA voodoo, man. My God. Let's see who wins the cup, I guess, right? Bro, as if Edmonton and Toronto would be in the Stanley Cup final. It's not. Wow, Edmonton blew their lead. Good job, Edmonton. You are trash. Uh, Chicago wins two. Chicago wins two. Three. And Chicago wins the cup because Toronto is terrible and they choke. Um, <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this episode. My voice is dying and I am depressed. <laughs> that was brutal. Um, man. that hurt. I have negative $3.8 million in cap space right now. I don't know how that's possible. Well, we're going to find a way to free up cap space in the next episode, but for now, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Um, that was fun, but depressing, but fun. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if, you had, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so if you enjoyed the video. For more daily content, I post every day at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube. Or if you want to tune in live, follow me on Twitch, SomeLazyGuy09. Um, same as my YouTube chain. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, peace.